Okay, so continuing on, we have the term that probably should have the easiest definition in the entire code, and it does. Uh, ground. What's ground? Well, it's the earth. There you go. It, it's the dirt. Nice, simple definition tells the story. Um, up until 2008, this definition was actually really convoluted. Uh, it said that the ground is the earth or a conductive body that extends the earth connection or uh, a conductive body that, that takes the place of earth. And it was like, holy cow, what, what is a conductive body that takes the place of earth? And, and people were like, well, if you have an airplane, you know, and you're 30,000 feet above the earth, you're obviously not connected to earth, but the metal parts are grounded. And it's like, okay, are, well, are they really grounded or are they connected to an equipment grounding conductor? Are they bonded? What, does it matter? You know, so they really made a, a concerted effort in the 2008 NEC, first in the 1999, then in the 2008, to really fix Article 250. And I, I think in both of those editions, they did a great job. The definition of ground should be simple. And now it is. It's the earth. That's the definition of ground. Ground is the earth. Nice and easy. Grounded or grounding means connected to the earth or connected to a conductive object that's connected to the earth. All right. So is this equipment grounded? Well, uh, yeah, that's about as grounded as it gets, isn't it? Um, I'll never forget taking this picture. This was at my old city hall when I was an inspector. Uh, we, we built the new city hall, and this was the temporary power. So the construction crater uh, was parked here, and they took, and this, of course, was the temporary power. So they moved the construction trader once the job was nearing completion and they added about three feet of dirt to get the grade to the proper elevation. And that landed you know, right in the middle of this panel. And, uh, and then of course they laid sod around it and everything. And you know, it was like, Hey, I thought you were going to take care of that. No, I thought you were, you know, and, and we were, we were actually occupying the building. We'd been there for like two days. And I looked out the window and saw that. And I was like, holy smokes. You know? So of course, like any uh, responsible person, the first thing I did was take a picture of it. Uh, and then, of course, called the utility and, and got it disconnected. But it, as funny as the picture is, it demonstrates the problem with saying XXX must be grounded. You know, you have to ground this. You have to make sure that's grounded. Well, this is grounded. Does that mean that it's safe? Does that mean that it's done correctly? No. So in the 2008 code, uh, we stopped saying this and this shall be grounded. And instead, we started saying it shall be connected to an equipment grounding conductor, or it shall be connected to a grounding electrode conductor, or it shall be bonded. We, we started using the, the more correct terminology because look, this is grounded. You know, if you're going to tell me that I have to ground my switches, which is what 404.9b used to say, does that mean you have to drive a ground rod at each switch or you have to actually put the switch in the dirt? Or did they mean that you need to connect it to an equipment grounding conductor? Well, obviously, that was what they meant. So ever since 2008, these terms are so much better than they used to be. Let me show you another example. Here's a temporary pedestal for a house that's being built. Now, this is service equipment by definition because the utility goes straight into this enclosure and there's a meter and there's circuit breakers. So that's service equipment. And if I go to 250.24a, uh, it, it ultimately says that that equipment is going to have to be connected to a grounding electrode and a grounding electrode system. And that's what we have here in the form of this ground rod. And we connect the metal parts to the grounding electrode with a grounding electrode conductor. And that's much more descriptive and much more accurate than just saying, hey, that metal thing has to be grounded. Because if I were to rip this ground rod out, <laughs> it's still grounded. It's in the dirt. You know what I mean? So saying that something has to be grounded is really not the best term. So grounded and grounding, they're still in the code, but they're used much less often, much, much less generically than they used to be. Now that brings up the definition of ungrounded. I wasn't sure when I wanted to cover the definition of ungrounded, but really it, it's probably best to cover it alongside the definition of grounded. So ungrounded is something that's not connected to earth 
or a body that extends the Earth connection. So let's go back. Grounded is connected to the Earth. Ungrounded is not connected to the Earth. <laughs> nice and easy. Okay, so is this generator ungrounded? Well, the metal parts might be touching the dirt, but when it comes to the term ungrounded, usually we're talking about conductors, right? Ungrounded conductors, of course, would be a hot conductor, or we're talking about a system. Now, when I talk about a system, uh, I'm talking about grounding the system, taking the internal parts, not the external metal stuff, but the actual windings, the internal components of the generator or transformer or source and connecting them to the earth. This generator is an ungrounded system. The windings, the, the internal components, they are not connected to the earth, okay? So for an ungrounded system, usually if we're talking bigger than a little portable generator, if we're talking about an actual wiring system, you would see an ungrounded system in some industrial facilities, usually older facilities, although you can certainly still install an ungrounded system today. An ungrounded system is usually a delta. So we have a three phase, three wire delta. We've got uh, brown, orange, yellow coming out of it, and it's 480, so we're just gonna pick those colors. And the metal parts, the transformer enclosure, is grounded. It is connected to the earth. We have a grounding electrode system. We might have two ground rods or a, a concrete encased electrode, a U for ground. What is not connected to the earth is the actual windings of the transformer. That's an ungrounded system. Now, I've got a, a pretty substantial video that covers system grounding, and I'll add a link to it below in the description. So if you're not familiar with system grounding, I really recommend that you take a watch on my system grounding video. That will definitely help clean up the difference between ungrounded and grounded as it relates to system grounding. We're also going to talk about that uh, here in a couple of days as we continue the Article 100 series. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.